In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate trying to land accurately, which is really important if you're trying to get to a specific biome or if you're trying to assemble a space base um, on another planet or moon. So I've set it up so that I have this really weird, highly eccentric orbit, and I'm trying to land at the flag, the land here flag. So I'm going to create a maneuver in order to try to get to land where I want to. I do have MechJeb installed right now for landing predictions, and the reason that's helpful is because in the time it takes me to maneuver, there's a fair chance that I will um, I'll allow the planet to rotate considerably so that I'll miss my mark. So you can eyeball it, and through trial and error and experience, you can get it to be fairly accurate, but it really helps to have a tool like MechJeb, especially if you're trying to land somewhere with uh, atmosphere because the atmosphere will also slow your, uh, your vessel down. It just won't be um, engine braking. So here we are with a maneuver that gets me close enough. So now I'm going to find that maneuver node and accelerate towards it. So there's the node. And once I'm locked onto that node, I'm gonna advance time to the maneuver, which is about an hour ahead. Now the maneuver will take roughly 20 seconds, so within, at about 12 seconds, I'm gonna to start to fire up these engines. So here we go. Your maneuver node will drift towards the end, so cut your engines with X and then slowly feather the remainder. So once it's close enough, looks pretty good, you can accelerate time until you're much closer to the moon. And as you can see, the moon has root rotated, or I should say mun, has rotated. Um, so that's why these, docking, these landing predictions are really, really helpful. But now I'm going to turn them off. So now I want to cut a lot of my uh, vertical velocity so I don't come smashing into the moon because I'm only 8,000 meters away. Luckily, I have a pretty powerful ship. Now, if you don't, you're going to want to cut a lot of your vertical velocity sooner. But as you can see, my land here flag is only 12 kilometers away, which is still already pretty good. Now what I'm left with is mostly horizontal velocity, as you can see. I'm just going to drift over this flag. So once I'm just about on top of the flag, I'm going to kill all of my horizontal velocity. So, pretty good so far. Just a few maneuvers and I'll be within 5k of the flag, if not closer. Now I'm going to accelerate time until I get a bit closer to the, uh, to the moon, or mun, as it were. And as you can see, I'm coming pretty close to where I want to be. Now if 1 or 2k is good enough for you, then we can end it here and just do a normal landing. But let's say you want to be even closer. What you want to do is point your ship in the direction of that flag. So you got to find the direction. So here we go. And just a short little blast will get you pretty far. Because at, you have to remember at this point, we're sort of just drifting and momentum will be carried. So even if I do a short little blast here like this. That will get me pretty much right over the flag. And as you can see, I'm right on target. So now you just sort of wait until you think you're just about over that flag. And I'm pretty close now. And then you're going to want to kill your horizontal and vertical velocity for a nice, smooth 
touchdown. So I've just killed all of my horizontal velocity because I don't care if I'm that much closer to the flag. And now I'm going to kill my vertical velocity. Now you can use this method of blasting up again and tweaking it. Tweaking your angle over and over and over again until you're just on top of the flag. And as long as you still have fuel, you can still do, keep doing this. So I'll do it one more time, just to get us as close as possible. Now, of course, a tool like MechJab can be a lot more accurate. But without MechJab, these sort of micro maneuver trial and error is almost as good as it's going to get. So here we go. I killed my horizontal velocity, killing my vertical velocity. That flag's only 70 meters away, which I think is pretty good. And then aim for a nice smooth touchdown. And we're done. So I hope that helps. Uh, it helps you assemble bases on other planets and moons, and it helps you uh, touch down in the specific biomes that you want. Um, 